Hello friends, myself Vipul Patel. Welcome to my channel Smart Learning. There are different options of induction motor starting. Star Delta Starter, Auto Transformer Starter, React Starter, Voltage Starter, Rotor Resistance Starter and Variable Frequency Starter. In this session, we are going to discuss on Rotor Resistance Starter. Rotor Resistance Starter the easiest method of starting wound rotor induction motor is to connect some extra resistance in the rotor circuit. Connection of extra resistance in the rotor circuit decreases the starting current and at the same time increases the starting torque. As the motor starts rotating, the extra resistance is gradually cut off. When the motor attains rated speed, the resistance is fully cut out. This method connects the rotor resistance in the external circuit. The highest value of current is chosen to limit the current at zero speed within the safe value. When the motor attains rated speed, the resistance is fully cut out and the slip ring terminals are short circuited. The motor now operates on its own characteristic which gives rise to maximum torque at a low slip. In this diagram, you can see the rotor resistance starter. In that, these are the main supply. These are the circuit breakers for overload protection. This is the rotor and this resistance are connected with the rotors. And this C1, C2 and C3 is nothing but the circuit breakers for at that point, at this point and this point. As the motor accelerates, the external resistance are cut, cut one by one by closing contacts and hence the rotor current is limited between specified maximum and minimum value. Advantages Smooth variation of rotor resistance. Simplicity of operation using closed loop control. Quick response of the system. Rotor resistance unbalanced can be eliminated using power electronic device. Disadvantages. The rheostat which is used to vary the resistance per phase cause unbalancing in rotor. The resistance generate huge loss and generate heat in the system. In case of large machine, the size of rheostat will be large and in, in such case, it, it is not easily portable. It requires more maintenance, hence the cost associated with it is more. This method cannot be used for industrial automation purpose since we have to change manually the value of the resistance. Applications this method of speed control is used in cranes, ward Leona drives and other intermittent load applications because of the low cost and high torque capability at the low, low speed. This speed control method can also be used in fans or pumps drive where speed variation over a small range near the maximum or top speed is required. Thank you for watching this video.